Hello, I'm James George and this is Web Design Blog and this week I'm going to show you how to make a quick landing page with uh, the Divi theme by Elegant Themes. So if, if you own a business and you're doing any kind of search engine optimization or you want to do like a, a campaign or something like that to try to bring in sales, a great way to do that is a landing page. Divi uh, by Elegant Themes has everything that you need to build a quality landing page uh, with just a few clicks of uh, some buttons. You know, it's really easy. So uh, let's get started here. I've got a basic page and I'm going to uh, promote my ability to customize WordPress themes. So I set up a page called Customize WordPress and I uh, clicked the page editor button and that brings up this setup where you can either load a layout and they have uh, like a landing page layout it's okay but you can create your own inside of Divi pretty easily so we'll just go in here and you have your basic look and you have your columns and that's how this looks to begin with. So we'll insert columns. I'm going to make this full width, insert a module, and we're going to do a blurb, which is an icon and uh, a little bit of text below. So we're going to use an icon, yes, and since I'm talking about WordPress, there's a bunch of icons inside of here already built in, and one of them happens to be a WordPress icon. It's great because you can, there's also other social media icons you can use too. So we'll use that one, we'll set the color to blue, uh, no circle around it, we'll make sure that this is at the top of the text, and then the text will be below that. Um, animation will make it animate from top to bottom. Text color dark and we'll make sure it's in the center. And so we'll just add some basic text. Hit save. And then let's say we'll add another module. But what I'm going to do is if you want to change the layout, see this was full width, if you want to change the layout you can add a row, insert columns, and we're going to do three columns. And I'm going to do a blurb for each one of those. And since those are blank we can just copy uh, this little button right here means copy and the three lines mean edit so we're going to go in and we'll create three three blurbs here I'm going to say yes to an icon and then let's see let's choose an appropriate icon for this I'm going to say uh, yes to a circle icon. I'm going to make this white, actually, then leave the circle the blue color for a little variation. No border. Uh, we'll put this at the top and we'll say uh, animate it from left to right. And then we'll put in just a little bit of text right below it to explain what we mean. You can go in as in-depth as you want about it if you'd like. It's really up to you, but the the great part is, you know, you can do this quickly and really customize this this look to your business. So let's see, the next one, we'll do this one. Again, for consistency, we'll set the icon to white. We'll set the circle, yes, to blue. No border at the top. 
we'll have this one do bottom to top, text color dark, center, add some text. Now I've pre-written some of this text, so I, you know, I'm not really, I don't really type that fast, but, you know, just for time purposes, I pre, uh, have pre-written some text just so you can get the idea without having to sit here and watch me do all this. A new tab, use icon, yes. Looking for... scroll down and again we'll set the icon to white and set the circle yes to blue no border animation we'll do right to left because that's on the right hand side and we'll add some text next we're going to add See a little extra variation, so I'm gonna I'm doing this out of order actually because I'm gonna show you how easy it is to just fix something if you think you've messed it up. So I'm gonna actually vary the layout again and do a third and two thirds. So in this module, I'm going to add a circle counter, which is great, and we'll do. Set sign on, I use the same color, save. Then in this module, we'll add a subscribe box. Now you could either do a subscribe box or you could do a call to action button. I'm going to do both just to show you, but you wouldn't necessarily do both on a, on a real landing page. But I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do that. So if your service provider you can use AWeber, FeedBurner, or MailChimp. I'm, I use MailChimp, and I'm going to hook up my list. And then... I'm going to add some, some text here. That's what the, the text is going to go over the button. I'm going to make this the same color here. Add some text. And we'll add that in. So now let's say that I built this layout and I actually wanted the subscribe box to be ab above the blur or the, the blurbs. So all you have to do when doing that is you see these uh, four arrows here that means that you can drag and drop this so if you aren't happy with how this is structured and let's say you want to move the circle counter in the subscribe box below the blurb you just click it and drag it it's unbelievable how easy that is uh, no copying and pasting code none of that stuff you can just drag and drop it which is excellent so I'm going to do one last thing, and I'm going to add a call to action. I'm going to make it full width, insert module, 
call to action. They even have pricing tables here too. So if you offer a multitude of uh, service levels or uh, packages, you can create a pricing table for those and have those lead to different payment uh, pages for different levels of payment, which is awesome. So call to action. That's it. So we added um, the title, uh, where the button, the call to action actually has a button that that you have them click. That's why it's a they're taking an action of clicking that button. And so the button text is "Let's get started." You never really want to use something like "Join now" or "Sign up" because people generally don't like commitment. So if you use uh, more friendlier terms, people are, you'll actually see your conversion rate go up. That's just a little blogging tidbit for you. But um, so you set all that up. That's pretty good, and we'll save that. Now we'll go ahead and save this layout, or save this as a draft. And I have my page open here and see it has nothing in it but now I'm going to refresh it and there is what we built and uh, again this doesn't have to be the uh, same default blue color but I, I just did that for uh, consistency purposes and so uh, you can see that this scrolls or this animates as they scroll down so that's it and just imagine just you can make this a long form uh, sales page, uh, squeeze page, you could add images, you could do anything you want to, add video. You know, the possibilities are endless. But in a matter of just a few minutes, you, we were able to build this landing page and uh, get up and running in no time. Well, that's it for this week. I'm James George, and this is Web Design Blog.